So welcome to the channel guys. If you're new here, welcome. Uh, what we're going to be doing today, we're actually going to be sitting here talking with Pat from Supreme Screen Supply, uh, as well as another business that he has. But we're going to be talking about a lot of things in the industry, but mostly your favorite of what you've wanted to hear about, and that is the DTF industry. Uh, this industry is taking the world by storm right now, uh, especially with impressions coming up uh, next month uh, in January, which we're going to be there, you know, highlighting the company and, and really throwing out some really cool stuff. So if you have a chance to get there to the show, I really recommend that you guys do. You'll really get some cool stuff, especially from our booth. Plus, you get to see what's going on in the industry within the whole printing world. So without further ado, let's talk to you. Well, thank you. <laughs> um, my name is Patrick Patterson, and I've been doing this since uh, 1998, so 24 years. And as you can see behind us, uh, I do a lot of screen printing, a lot of wholesale contract screen printing on uh, supremescreensupply.com. We do retail here and there, but we're mostly going towards uh, contract screen printing, embroidery, and DTF, which we're going to focus on a lot today. Throughout the years, I've learned how to do it, and <laughs> I... He's kind of mastered the technique up here where, where I'm from, so... Everybody looks up to him as the man who runs the desert, pretty much. <laughs> so I've been through everything there is to go through as far as what not to do, what to do for printing and embroidery and screen printing. And since I have kind of got it dialed in, I decided to move my business to contract because um, I understand how important it is for you, the resellers, to have a perfect product for your customers and to make money. That's key. That's so that... Key. Um, if it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, for, for me, it's always been whenever you get into something, you really got to perfect the technique. You've got to know it in and out because once your end client gets it, you know, if something goes wrong, you got to know how to fix it, how to correct it, but you just got to know about it. Right. It's like when you go to buy a car, you just don't go to buy a car and know nothing about it. You know, you, you want to know how it drives, how it feels, does it fit? You know, it's like... The ins and outs of just, the, you know, that type of stuff is the same in the print industry. Getting to know your equipment, like what we got back here, the, these high-end machines, you know, and all the other thousands of pieces of equipment that go with it. How much of that has been a learning curve for you and your company, you know, with equipment? Yeah, it's been a steep learning curve, even though it's been 24 years. It's, the industry changes all the time. And even if you, the, the print buyer, don't know everything there is to know, Give me a call, send me an email, and I will help walk you through the process of what you need to do to get a good quality product. Yeah, I, I, I can you. attest to that because I've personally done that, and he, he's, he's handled it pretty well. Thank you. Now, now that's surprising that even though you've gotten as big as you are, you, that you personally still reach out to clients. Absolutely. Just like that. I mean, that to me, it, it kind of adds a, a little bit of a personal touch to a company when, when you know that, hey, the owner of the company is actually contacting me. He must really care about me, right? the, the customer and his product, making the, sure I'm happy. The success of this business depends on the success of our buyers, our resellers. And the better that they do and the more that they grow, yeah. the more we will grow. Yeah. And I'm there to help. Most any time that you were to send an email in or a call, it's me. Um, yeah. Rarely do we get calls or emails, just a few a day. Most everything is done on our website, supremescreensupply.com. When the orders come through our website, everything is automated. Yeah. It's, the job is scheduled on our job board. An art separator sees the art and separates the art for screen printing. Somebody evaluates and does a sew out for all the embroidery orders before they go into production. So by the time your shirts get here, because that's how it works, you place your order with us, you send the shirts to us, and by the time your shirts get here, most of the time the job is ready to go and it's been double checked, triple checked, and we've corresponded with you to say, hey, there might be an issue with this, or if you hadn't heard from us, then chances are everything's good to go. But with all that automation that's put into place, that helps with a fast turnaround time. I know a lot of our focus today is about DTF, and DTF's very simple. Um, if you've seen Jan's other video about how to place an order, yeah, Which. one thing I was impressed about, guys, with the website Supreme Screen Supply is, you know, I've been on other sites, you know, big dog companies out there where you can upload your artwork, but the simplicity of how you upload your artwork on the website 
was a, was a, impressive to me because it takes a lot of, if you're into gang sheeting, which most companies that are doing DTF transfers or any other style of transfers, they do this thing called gang sheeting where you can take up all your logos and put them on one sheet, you know, a chest, a sleeve, a back, a front, whatever, and you're the one that has to do that. You have to put all that stuff together. Where you guys have kind of mastered it is you had it set up to where all you have to do is upload your images and then you guys pretty much, or we'll, the software, we'll, is, it, is it the software that does it, or it, you guys? It's both. That kind of we line will, it all up. We'll and, take, we'll see your order, has it, how it comes in, and we'll look at all the sizes of your, of your different graphics, and we'll import that into our software, and we'll line it up. Um, there's some automation to that, where yeah. it only makes straight cuts. So it's easier and faster for you guys when you get your right. prints. And, you're not and pay doing attention this, to that because this crooked scissor thing. Yeah, because for, yeah, <laughs> for you guys that start ordering these big, huge rolls, like you've seen in my video, you can have this big, thick four or five inch roll, and you've got to cut that. If you're doing all these round cuts because of the way you position them, not gritting them perfectly to where they're straight cuts, horizontal, vertical, you're going to be sitting there for a long time doing that. And, and trust me, I've done it. And the way that they you know give you the end product the roll makes cutting a dream you know if you have a good cutting machine or just a ruler and, and a cutter it makes life simple which a lot of companies aren't really doing that unless the customer is the one doing it but you're automating it kind of for the customer which is nice going back to making money if you're cutting straight cuts and you're getting your transfers out of the roll faster well then you're profiting more because you're getting your jobs done in a quicker right. time so we have that in mind. Let's just, how easy can we make it for the uh, print reseller to get these jobs in, get them out, have success, get more orders in, just right. we'll flip them. Because that's uh, the key, trying. right? Time is money. And even though it's taking them a little bit of time to have to do all that, it's not taking you time in making money, which I think is pretty cool. You know, you can actually get to cutting them really fast, really quick and then you can get on to making money pressing your shirts and stuff. So I, I like where you say the key words reseller. Right. You guys have kind of come into the industry knowing that there is this group of business owners, the resellers. Yeah. A lot of these major companies don't think about the reseller. The reseller is no different than Joe Blow who comes on and registers on their website. Yeah. He gets the same price as Joe Blow, no matter what, even though you've been in the industry for, you know, five, ten or X amount of years. But you kind of focus on the resellers. Talk more about that. Right. So our focus is for the licensed reseller who has a resale certificate to have a business and make money from the service that we have here. You don't have to invest in this equipment. You right. focus on doing sales. Go to your local pizza shop. Maybe make them a free shirt. Yeah, you that's know, what I did. That, that's huge. Um, that's how I got started originally yeah. was just giving people samples and seeing if they liked it. And yeah. then they're so happy to get a shirt. They're like, yeah. make me more. If I got like you a know? client and they ordered like 20, 30 shirts, I'll give them 30 shirts, throw them a hat. Right. Before you know it, that one hat turns into 25 hats. Exactly. You know, like, yeah, exactly. So that's what I'm building Supreme Screen Supply for, is for people to make money and to compete in the marketplace with the people who have the machines. Yeah. Uh, I'm selling at $3 a square foot currently. This is the end of December, 2022. You guys heard that, right? $3 a square foot. That's that's unheard of right now. That's, that's for RGB. Yeah. Fluorescence, $5 a square foot, which I invite you to take advantage of. And one yeah. great thing about when you sign up for an account, your account gets approved. And people think, well, why all the red tape? That benefits you, the reseller, to know that the pizza place can't come here and buy right. and get that special. Um, they, I approve every account, and what that's like a, a line in the sand that keeps everyone from coming here. We're only working with the people who know how to do the artwork, who are gonna resell and continue to give us business on a daily basis. That yeah. that's our goal. You the business. So you know, if you're out there, you're you're a business. You have a wholesale license. This is something you should take advantage of. Because here's the key point. You're buying your shirts wholesale, right? I know I do. You right, do. Absolutely. So how come we, we can't get our transfers at wholesale prices? So, again, this is one of the only companies that I personally know of that is really doing wholesale transfers at true, 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 true. 
wholesale prices. I mean, some of these companies might give you a wholesale account, but we're talking you got a, a 10 cent discount right. from their real price. It's right. like, come on. It's like, I'm here to make money. And then plus, I think, I think what's cool too is that even with the industry right now, the industry has been kind of going up a little bit too. We see prices in apparel going up, you know, because of overseas shipping issues and whatnot, and just the economy in general. Has that really impacted what you're doing as a company? It's, we have to navigate it going through COVID and having shipment issues with trying to get product from all over the world. Sometimes we'll place an, an order for a hundred shirts and it comes from seven different places. Yeah, me too. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, it's a struggle and then prices are going up and uh, we still mark up our garments. I mean, the industry, everything's going up, so it hasn't really affected us in a retail sense. But when it comes to wholesale, we're really trying to work with the vendors that are out there and say, hey, let's help the reseller. You know, the better they do, the better we all do. We're all going to sell more materials. And so far, so good. And one thing to kind of um, go back a step, if, when you do sign up an account, you get a $25 credit. That's a lot of DTF. Yeah. $25 of free DTF to try us out. That's a lot of hats you can make. Right, or <laughs> left chest prints, yeah. a few back prints, but um, you still get the idea of how it is to press it, to peel it, to do a post press with a cold peel, and to see the vibrancy of the colors of what we are producing versus the competition. And, and you also see how fast you get it. Yeah, I wanted to talk about that because most transfer companies you go through, it's CMYK, typically, especially with DTF, most of these printers or CMYK, unless they're 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 getting these really high-end printers. One thing I've noticed about you guys, you're doing CMYK RGB to where people can actually submit their artwork in RGB mode, right? Which is cool because then you get those really accurate, bright colors. How is it you're able to do that? Like, talk a little bit about that. A lot of it is just the way our printer is CMYK, and it, it's when your file is RGB, the software knows how to interpret it into a brighter RGB format. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to apparel, everybody wants bright. Right, they and want vibrant pop. We do offset paper printing, and it's kind of the opposite in that realm. It's all kind of CMYK, not super bright, more corporate uh, brochures and stuff that are a lot, oftentimes more duller colors, which seems odd, but that's how it is with paper printing. But when it comes to garment printing, Definitely RGB or the fluorescence really starting to take off now. It, yeah, it pops. that's one thing that I haven't messed around yet with is the fluorescent uh, colors. <laughs> I really want to kind of delve into some of that stuff and kind of see what those look like. One thing that I really liked is that the fact that you personally have all this experience with different equipment. You talked about embroidery, screen printing, even paper printing. Uh, you know, you just made me a, a couple posters uh, right. the other day. I mean, they were phenomenal. Do you think that kind of gives you a little bit of heads up in when it comes to messing with DTF? Or Absolutely. Has it? Yeah, having been a printer for the last 24 years and having just about every machine from paper printing, which is, you know, digital Konica copiers, digital presses, printing presses for printing paper. And then we moved into doing signs and those are all um, large format inkjet machines yeah. and the years of doing car wraps and understanding all of the caveats and things to navigate yeah. through this and that. When it came to DTF, it was like, oh, this is easy. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. The machine it's, does it for you. <laughs> yeah, print it, roll it up, put it in a box and ship it out. And because of that experience, I feel like we kind of have a, a step up on the competition because we've done everything. And yeah. we know what looks good and how to print it right. And if it doesn't look good, don't send it out. Um, we want our resellers to have their customers be wowed. We look at everything, everything's quality control that comes through here, whether it's screen printing or embroidery or DTF. Mm -hmm. Before it gets shipped out or picked up locally, it's gone through the best we can. Do we ever make a mistake? Of course we do. But I do have, and my team has, a decent amount of experience over the last 20 some years. Some of my employees have been here for 20 years, um, 18 years that are uh, production managers and the staff wow. that have worked here have been in the industry for, you know, the screen printing industry for over 20 years. We're in the high desert of California and most of them came from Los Angeles and wanted yeah. to move up here and have less expensive, yeah. you know, cost of living, so. Yeah, me personally, it's like coming from the construction world uh, before I delved into the printing world. You know, I have a history of illustration and graphic design, you know, as one of my majors, so 
to go back into the printing scene and, and try to do something where I can incorporate art. Even though I was doing tile work, I was still able to incorporate artwork with tile, with colors and all that stuff. There you go. You yeah, know, yeah. But one thing I learned about a company, when you're running a company, again, like you said, you've had you know, employees that have been with you 20 years, 18 years. You're only sometimes as good as your employees. Absolutely, yeah. If you're able to retain your employees for that long, that says a lot about you as a company. 